After defeating Galway last weekend, the Ospreys travel back to Ireland to face Leinster at the RDS showground on Saturday afternoon. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Jeff Hassler and Ollie Cracknell. Ollie, you've been enjoying some game time, you've been wearing the shirt in recent weeks. Uh, out in Connaught starting last weekend, you know, on a plus level, how are you enjoying it? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's great just to get game time, get back on the on the field. Um, it's not easy a lot of uh, competition for places, so uh, yeah, just happy to be playing at the moment. Top of the competition for places, world class British Lions, Welsh internationals across the back row. Good place to learn, but do you find it a little bit frustrating sometimes when you're not getting the, the action that you perhaps want or hope you're going to get? Yeah, it can be frustrating, but that's just part of professional sport. You've got to. You've got to, you know, r rise to that challenge, and uh, you know, and, uh, enjoy the challenge that, that's put on you and the pressure that's put on you from players underneath you. And I think that's what, as a team, you need to to push performances. And I suppose it's easy to forget that you are still only 21 years old. So, you know, you're still learning the trade, and perhaps what better place to be learning that trade than with people like Dan Lidget, James King, just in Tipperick? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a lot of internationals to learn from, especially in, uh, in my position, um, so yeah, and personally playing a bit of seven, played seven against Connor and, and uh, seven a bit more at the moment, so just trying to learn from the uh, out and out sevens we've got here, a bit more about that position as well. What's your take on the Connor match, frustrating, disappointing, heartbreaking, so near yet so far? Yeah, very frustrating, very frustrating game. Um, but then it's good, it's good experience, it's quite a young squad, and we've just got to learn from that and, and move on and take our learn the, the points that we learned from and take it into Leinster this weekend. I think it's disappointing that yet again we fell behind early on and we're chasing the game, but what you are seeing with this young team at the moment, there's plenty of endeavour and plenty of commitment, they're never giving up anything as a lost cause. Yeah, I mean, there's there's mistakes and, and that, that sort of thing is going to happen. Like Mistakes are going to happen. It's just with, with this team, as you know, we're young. We, we're going to make mistakes, but it's, it's the way you react, and we've reacted really well to whatever it is that we, we've done wrong on the weekend. And I think I'm sure we'll react well this weekend. We've got to bounce back in a positive fashion. Yeah. Leinster, the RDS, big crowd, one of Europe's top teams, doesn't get any easier. No, it certainly doesn't. But uh, it's another challenge, and we'll, we'll all look forward to it. Easter has come in and the dates for Aussie's Easter parties have been confirmed. If you're a member of Aussie's Army, come and join us at the LC Swansea on Tuesday the 29th of March at 1pm or at Progenit Life Centre on Thursday the 31st of March again at 1pm. If you're not a member, there's still time to register and get your invite. You can do so online at ospreysrugby.com. Aussie's Army is a free membership club for 5-12 to 12 year old Ospreys fans. To be with a chance of becoming the mascot for a home game, you have to be a member of Aussie's Army. If you want to come to Aussie's Easter party, send your RSVP now to Aussie at ospreysrugby.com. The next home game for the Ospreys is the big one against the Scarlets on Saturday the 26th of March, 3pm kickoff. Why not upgrade for the day and watch the match in style in one of our hospitality boxes? Packages start from £89 plus fat per person and you can watch the game with panoramic views of the Liberty Stadium and enjoy a visit from members of the Osprey squad pre-match. Hurry as there's limited availability and spaces are going fast. Contact the hospitality team now on 01792 616 488 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com for more information. <music> 
Jeff, you back up and run in, playing a role out in Connacht last weekend. Ultimately, a good performance in parts, but a disappointing outcome. Yeah, it was a bit of a slow start for us, and that's something we've kind of been struggling with all season. Um, just two soft tries at the beginning of the game puts us in a hole early, and you know we got to kind of dig our way out of it. Thought second half got a little bit better, and uh, you know in the end it was mostly our mistakes that you know we didn't get the tries that we wanted in the end. And um, you can say whatever you want about the referee, but there were a few things that you know we should have mopped up ourselves to, to win that game, and uh, we didn't come away with what we wanted. So hopefully next week we can build on it. Obviously, it leaves very little margin for error, but you know, in the end of the season, if we're going to get into that top six, Leinster away on Saturday doesn't get much tougher. Yeah, they're obviously at the the uh, top of the table, and they've got a few games in hand as well. So, um, you know, we know what to expect from them. Even though they've got some guys away with the internationals, uh, they're going to be a good side, and they're a tough place to go play at the RDS. So, I've got to write the few things that we did wrong last week. Uh, we had a good review session yesterday in there for about three hours, uh, a little longer than normal. So hopefully we can learn from our mistakes uh, from Connett. And like you said, there's not much room for uh, for error. So the end of the season is going to be uh, it's going to be tough. You say it's tough, but it's probably exciting as well for players, coaches and supporters when you're at this time of the season and every game actually means something. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think, you know, you see flashes of, of brilliance from the young guys in this team and stuff and some of the things that we can create. So if we're just able to patch that into a full 80 minutes, uh, you know, the end of the season, it will be it will be tough. And we're, you know, we're, we're trying to get uh, as many points as we can. But I think if we put it all together, uh, we can be a pretty destructive team. And while it's clear that you can't afford to look further than just one game at a time, as far as the, as far as the supporters are concerned, Leinster, if we can pick something up there, Builds up for a huge game at the end of the month against the Scarlets, the Liberty. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a little bit of a break before the Scarlets, so we're just trying to focus on this game and, and get what we can out of it. But uh, you know, those Derby games are always, uh, you know, they're always pretty intense, and everyone gets up for them. And you can see the supporters would uh, would be really excited for that game. So get as many points as we can out of the Slenster game, and then look forward to the Scarlets. That's all for now. Don't forget Ospreys v Scarlet's Easter weekend. Tickets are on sale now at all the usual outlets. Buy ours now and support the cause.